Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how you can uh, add new language for this box multi-purpose website business and system. So, for this, you need to log into your admin dashboard. After logging to your admin dashboard, you will see uh, the dashboard screen, and then go to language. And now add new language. For an example, let me add Turkish. You have to set the direction for this. For now, we add direction to the RTR, LTR and uh, do not show this language in content. For now, uh, we need to make it draft because we still not ready to publish it in content. Yeah, here you have to put a slack for the language like uh, for Turkish I in the T R and now uh, click add new Turkish language is and now Turkish language is created language name is Turkish at here good and the status is done now we need to put all the necessary data for Turkish to make it publish, make it available for visitors so that anyone can go to visit, see this here and can change these things. To do so, uh, I have to, we have to uh, translate the statics things at first and uh, let me show you again. To enable it in content, at first we need to translate the static links. To do so, we have to go edit word, click edit word. Now you have to translate all these things to this just an example I show you. Now you have to translate all the string there and save update changes. Now the main thing is uh, to make the site multitasked multilingual, we need to put all the necessary data for new language. So to do so we need to check all the all the section, all the section and all the settings here uh, for translated English. Uh, to do so at first we need to go navbar settings and uh, here we need to put a translated data for this field to Turkish that can be using click so let's put a uh, data and save update so here we have to do same for all this field inside uh, home page manage and then about page manage and then contact page and then code page code page order page price plan uh, work single top bar setting services all i mean to say all of your settings you need to transfer them in turkish as like i did in this uh, as like i show you in the uh, number settings in the number settings uh, and one more thing when you assign a menu you need to create a menu for this translator language it's important actually uh, like uh, right now I have one one two three four four menu we need to add new menu for two keys as like uh, i create a uh, menu for two keys two primary menu <coughs> and uh, go to Turkish and now we have to uh, add menu in this menu newly created menu I first need to remove this one and then uh, add a few items you can also uh, make the drop down like this right now I don't think I'll drop down so save change 
now go back to all menu and to kiss and remember the primary menu we need a default menu for this header part and now we are going to make this primary menu as a default set as default click default and we have to do the same for this this three language and uh, let me show you where we use useful language important links and top menu I will use top menu in top bar settings uh, top bar settings like that sorry okay Let me show you how are we uh, use this uh, useful links, important links menu. Uh, remember, you have to create the same menu for this new language also. Right now, we only made one for uh, make it primary menu. You have to do same for this useful link menu and important link also. So we will use this in footer, and here is useful links with it. And here is Turkish. You need to translate the widget title to Turkish. Let's translate that. And uh, here you need to select a menu for this widget, widget uh, useful link widget. Uh, the useful link widget is actually uh, this one. You need to post, select a menu here. We already uh, we did menu inside menu manage. For Turkish, all Turkey available Turkish menu will be available here. So, the consistency I right now we did not make useful link for this menu. Let's make a useful link uh, menu for this widget. Now we need to assign a few menu item. Remove this one and just cancel this. Now get back to put our widget links and to fish. We need to task it, put the task in. And now you will get to this menu. You need to select this menu and the subject setting. You need to do the same for useful important link also. Do not forget to transfer them. And after complete all those settings, you need to uh, make the language draft to publish. And then it's done. You can use this in the front end. This will be for there and multi language system is done. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you need any kind of help, you can contact me anytime from Genius, our official website. Let me show you how you can contact with me from there. Here you have option uh, to contact me in a step directly. Directly from here, if you click there, it will open a Skype and you can contact me directly. And you can also contact me from here, from contact page actually. Uh, let me show you how. There is official mail. You can contact them. Usually, we we'll provide support in our local time, and you can contact me from this form. And also, you can contact him. He with live chat. You can ask you to send here. I will answer them when I online. So, thank you so much for watching. Best of luck.